So I want to ask you guys what the deal is at corner. All right? I, I'll give you my quick opinion because I don't want to spend too much time about me here. I don't think they should take a corner at six. Thank you so much, Flannel. I don't think a corner at six is a viable option this year. I don't. I don't think any of them are J.C. Horn, Sauce Gardner, Patrick Sertan, year one, okay? Right. I think they can be at a similar level, but a significant drop-off, okay? Right. So I'd like to see the Lions, if they were to draft a corner like a Devon Witherspoon, move up to 13, 14, if available. Right. Or a Gonzalez, in your case, because you love him. But he showed out. He tested out really well. My question to you and everybody at home, what do the Lions do at corner? What pick? Because I, I don't think it's six. I think six has to be a defensive lineman. What do you think, Jeff? As much as I, I hope there would be a chance that one of these guys falls to you at 18, the reality is it's not likely. I think Devon Witherspoon, Christian Gonzalez, Joey Porter Jr., those guys will be gone by 18. Now, in that scenario, the Lions have two options here. And listen, I've talked a lot about Emmanuel Forbes. If you want him, you're probably going to have to trade up from 48 to you know, top of the second round if he doesn't go late first. But the other scenario would be trading up from 18. I do believe the Lions have to trade up to get one of these corners. They do. I wouldn't take one at six. I'm not high on it. There's so many more positions. We have a hierarchy of positions we always talk about. Corner to me, unless it's a generational talent, you're not taking them at six. So the Lions, if you're, to your point... If someone starts sliding down the draft board, a Christian Gonzalez who or Joey Porter Jr., and you want to go get your guy, you can trade up and go get him. But to sit at 18, they might not all three be there. So you have two options. Either trade up in the second round or you trade up at 18. Unless the situation where Joey Porter falls to 18, but I don't think it's likely. I, I think, don't think, the Steel- Look, I again, think those three corners are gone. You have teams like Green Bay, Washington, the Steelers that are all going to be looking at players like Elijah Cansey. Joey Porter, yes. Christian Gonzalez, Devon Witherspoon, if available. Uh, I see a lot of defensive players. Once we get past five, I think that's where you see a plethora of defensive players off the board outside of Skronsky right. and maybe Paris Johnson. Those are the two only offensive players I see going up until, let's say, Houston at 12, who I think should should take Jackson Smith and Jim. I'm 100% with you. you got to take your wide receiver to take a quarterback, but again, Joey Porter, I know he didn't run the fastest 40. Uh, I know his dad was upset by that. But at the end of the day, those are the three guys. And if you want one of those three guys, you're going to have to probably trade up. Now, you could like some guys that are late. I mean, we look at, you know, a, a Julius Brents, who you like a lot. There's other corners at Garrett Williams, which I don't like the idea of. But still, there's still guys later in the draft you can go get. Lions have a lot of options, but I do think corner's important. As much as anybody, nobody wants to admit it. Uh, Brad Holmes addressed it in the offseason. One-year deal for Emmanuel Mosley. Cam Sutton's the only one he gave a long-term deal to. You're going to have to find somebody. Jeff Akuda, fifth-year option. I don't think they're picking that up. (laughs)